about to beef it up tonight. We about to beef that thing up tonight. Hey, 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 hey. Get low with that thing. Get, okay, let me stop. Hey, we are, are we on? What, what am I doing? Are we on? Hey, what up? This is Boy Rick and man and welcome uh, to my cooking show, Quarantine Cook-Off, live right here on Fox Soul from my kitchen in Birmingham, Alabama. And listen, I'm putting the gloves on now. Oh yeah, when I when I I'm I'm getting ready to do surgery today. This is serious. And I have never used gloves. I have never put on gloves, but I'm putting the gloves on tonight because tonight recipe is off the chain. This recipe is so far, I couldn't even do my own. I had to use somebody else because hers tastes better than mine, but we'll we'll talk about that later or whatever. I'm not a hater, you know what I'm saying? When somebody else got stuff tastes better than mine, I go ahead and rock the bill or whatever, because mine is just basic, but this is I got some fire for you tonight, man. And listen, so every week. Uh, you all get to watch me cook against some of my favorite celebrity guest chef, man. And listen, with you fans being the judge, we want y'all to be the judge. Now, uh, we always have a good time right here in the kitchen, but I just could not sit here and pretend that, um, that I don't know what's going on around the country. There's a lot of stuff going around the country, and uh, we got to be talking about it or uh, whatever right now. You know, um, the, the whole situation with George Floyd. And you know the young lady in uh, Louisville, uh, Kentucky, as she slept in her apartment, and police officer came in and uh, shot up her house, shot her eight times, and then they put her boyfriend in jail um, or whatever. And uh, the, the Ahmad Aubrey case down in Brunswick, Georgia, is pretty serious, and uh, it's sad that here it is, 2020, in the middle of a pandemic, that we're still going through stuff like this, and it's just. It's, it's just out, it's, it's outrageous, it's sad, and uh, Black Lives Matter. And, I, and, and, and when I say Black Lives Matter, you know, I know some people are gonna say, well, all lives matter, or whatever, well, if all lives matter, then we wouldn't be talking about Black Lives Matter. You understand? So that's like saying, okay, if my house is on fire, and I call the fire department, or whatever, but why would everybody come on their porch and say, well, why don't you spray all of our houses? Well, my house is on fire. And that's just the best analogy that I have ever heard uh, when anybody tried to come in and say that all lives matter, all lives do matter. But black folks are the ones that's been catching hell and been oppressed for the past uh, uh, 400 years. And some, and some of the things that you uh, say folks do is because of some of the trauma that we've been through. I mean, you grew up being uh, 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 prejudiced against your whole life. When I go, When I go to the store, I don't know how to be, I don't know. I got to adjust myself to every single person of other ethnicity that I meet because I don't know what I'm going to get, you know, and that's being a black man. And that's my reality or whatever. So we have to talk about this stuff, you know, talk about all of the stuff that's going on and is going on around us, all of the protests. And we do not advocate violence. We advocate peace and peaceful protests. And we just want to keep um, uh, George Floyd's family, that family in Louisville, Kentucky, continue to pray, pray for Mike Brown's family and Tra and Sabrina Martin, Trayvon uh, Martin's uh, uh, family and Philando um, uh, Castile, uh, uh, everybody uh, who and Ahmaud Arbery's family, everybody who had their life taken due to uh, police brutality, and anybody that's dealing with any type of situation. Uh, dealing with inequity and stuff. Racism is serious and it's real. So when you get a chance, you make sure that you go out and vote. You join your local chapter of the NAACP and the SCLC. Or if you want to join the National Urban League, there are organizations out here uh, that's going to help you and that's going to uh, protect you and let you know what your rights are. So be a part of something because if you are not part of the solution, you're part of the problem, all right? So listen, man, we're gonna entertain, entertain everybody who is here. Uh, we're gonna have a good time, man. But uh, listen, I got a special guest. So for today's cook-off, uh, the, the today's cook-off that I had to get my friend, right? You can hear her on the Ricky Smiley morning show every morning, and she's on Bravo, you've seen her on. And we was on Andy uh, show together, and uh, you can see her uh, every Sunday night on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Uh, Y'all, well, as, as a matter of fact, I had to play. I had to play pretty brown eyes for her this morning because, <laughs> boy, let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, Clark Atlanta University's own. Y'all give it up and show your love for the wonderful, the fabulous, evil Marcel Big B. <laughs> what up, Ricky? Welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> Thanks what for up? having me, bro. Hey, I'm so happy you. Uh, 
I'm, I'm just really happy you're doing this today, man. I'm, I'm, cause you, you, you've been talking trash on the radio, and Whoa. you've been talking, and, and, and you've been I, talking about your oxtail recipe, the like your second day on the job. You always talk about your oxtail recipe, and I, let me just say, no, that butter beans was still popular. You had no clue. <laughs> we still cooking butter beans, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna learn you right. something a bit today, Ricky Smiley. Right, so Eva, I never heard anybody from California, anybody from the West Coast, talk about they cook butter beans. And when you say butter beans, I, I thought that was just a southern thing. So when you talk about you cook your oxtail and you throw in some butter beans, that's why I hit the floor. I'm like, are you from you from where? You from where? You came yep. from the West Coast. Black I folks swear. is everywhere, and we cook good everywhere. Now I know you from Alabama. And y'all get down right. in Alabama. I done tasted your food. Y'all are bar none. But do right. not underestimate us West Coast breezy people, honey. Our people still came from the South. We just moved out West. So we got a little well, bit. Well, Eva, Eva, when I go to LA, I always eat at m ms You know what I'm saying? That's, that's yes. my personal stop. Yeah, you know, well, come on now. You know I know about m ms You know I know about, about Roscoe's chicken and waffles and all the little spots. But just to hear. You know, I mean, you won top model. I just couldn't believe that butter, the word butter bean came out of your mouth. I'm like, what do you know, <laughs> what do you know about butter bean? Put your, uh, evil back it's from yeah. one grandma baby to another, honey. Exactly. So, <laughs> uh, so, so Eva, I'm gonna let you tell everybody, uh, what, what, what are we cooking today? Okay, so today you are going to learn my oxtails recipe. So I grew hey, up it, in California and my ahead. It's a little Southern with a little Jamaican twist. Okay. Okay. Hey, Eva. Yes. Eva. So I see yeah. you got your makeup on. You got your hair all done. I'm, I'm, I am see I see you got that face beat. But Eva, Eva, guess what? I'm about to mess up all your makeup right now. Let go. I got a special guest on right now. Look at, look at your screen. I got a special guest on right now. Ricky, don't you do ready? it. Shut up. Eva. <laughs> Look at she going to get her now. She crying. She crying. Oh, she be laid out on the floor. Eva, do you be crying? For you got somebody to you see her keep me stop, please. My daughter be thinking, my daughter thinks that something is wrong with me in the morning. And it's not. Oh, my problem. gosh. Kiki, I love you. I love you back. I love you back. Girl. Don't say it now. Oh, Ricky Smiley, I promise you, I'm 
promise you I'm going to run She's snorking. She's so wrong for this. <laughs> she's snorking. Like, I heard that. <laughs> she's snorking. I heard she said, I heard that. <laughs> Don't do me, Ricky. <laughs> huh? Thank, thank you for showing up because Eva absolutely, Eva absolutely. Now I, I wanted to show her because she had have, had got a makeup. I wanted you to mess her makeup up without yeah. fighting, Kiki. You did it. Oh, oh hey, I it. try to do what I can, girl. Eva, girl, I'm gonna pull up on you though. I'm gonna pull up on you. Sign me a plate. Sign me a plate. Sign me some butter bean. And throw some sweet in there. Gotta have some sweet. I got in. you. I got you, Kiki. I got cornbread, right. butter, green beans, everything. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> what do you say, Kiki? What do you say, Kiki? What yes. Say, Kiki? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Kiki. I appreciate you. Okay. Let me go try to steal somebody's son. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ricky. Ricky, Eva, you okay? Mine. You okay? I'm glad I already know my recipe. Please don't do that again. Oh, my. I love Kiki. I love I Kiki. I'm just not civil when Kiki comes around. Oh. Seriously, Kiki, every time Kiki comes on the morning show, you always on the floor. We have to pick you up and fan you because you can't take it. You can't, you can't take it. <laughs> Okay, okay, I promise you I am gonna be professional. I have been stressed out and so sad with all that is going on. And Ricky, you are a blessing to my life. You gave me a laugh from my uterus. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what are your you? uterus? <laughs> all right, here we go. All right. I want to tell all the fans, I apologize. Uh, Y'all have to excuse Eva. Uh, Eva didn't take her medicine. Well, she probably did take her medicine this morning because I'm not going to tell you what her and Brett do while we're doing the morning show because we're doing the morning show from home. <laughs> I'm not going to tell them. I ain't going to say I it. Ain't say it. Dr. Ain't Sebi. Right, right. We know. <laughs> oh, trust me. We know. You ain't sitting up there laughing every morning for no reason. All right, Eva, go ahead and start your oxtail. Okay, so a lot of people think that oxtails are like super difficult. So they don't make them because they think that, you know, they can't. But I'm here to right. tell you, it is very simple. It doesn't take a lot. So here I have my oxtails, right? Okay. I like to put all the fat. The fat would be that white or light piece around the meat. So I've yeah. already cut my fat. I leave a little bit on, but not too much. So I have my oxtail uh -huh. here. And then I have okay. my bell pepper. I do red bell pepper, green bell pepper. I also have celery and carrots. Cut right. those up already. And then I cut up my onions. And I'm cutting this up so you can see how big. You don't want to cut them in bite-sized pieces because this is going to cook for four hours. So it's going to break right. all, all the way down. So I cut up my right. onion in fourths. And literally, Ricky, I do all in a pan. So. My little secret, my, okay. little secret my oxtails, is that I don't use salt, pepper, any of that. My seasoning is um, Lipton onion soup mix. Oh. Yes. Yeah, so I dump in my bell peppers. I dump in my, my celery and my carrots. I dump in my onions. Where did you go? You're right here. And then I do my oxtails. Right. Do my oxtails one at a time so I can take my onion soup mix that looks nice and fancy and I literally uh -huh. just sprinkle it on on my oxtails. That's my seasoning. Okay. You literally put no salt, pepper, none of that. So I season on my oxtails as I put them in there. Then I take, I don't need really measure, but I take a spoon or two of jerk seasoning, your jerk right. marinade. Whatever kind of jerk you like. I like it spicy, but there are Mauser ones if you prefer it that way. So I put in some right. jerk seasoning. I also put in a couple of bay leaves. Very important. Right. I don't know why, but it definitely changes the flavor. Drop in some bay leaves. I put in our favorite, better than bullion. Uh -huh. My okay. favorite. 
It comes in beef and in chicken. I use the chicken, but if you look up and you don't have chicken, you can use the beef. Now your mom was old school. She most likely used the cubes. We don't do that anymore. But if that's what you have, that will still suffice. So you I literally- I I'm, I'm a big fan of that. Yes. And then you take some broth, vegetable broth, chicken broth, um, beef broth, whatever your forte is. You literally put it inside of the roasting pan and you right. put a top on this and put it in the oven for four hours. Now, about two hours and you want to put okay. it in and you close it. Right. You put it in the about two hours in, you want to check uh -huh. it. You want to see where your water is, you want to see how thick it is or not. You might need a little bit more broth. If you do, pop that okay. broth in. And then I use a thickening agent, which is basically seasoned flour like you would make a gravy. I use my seasoned flour, I put some chicken broth in there, and halfway through, I dump my potatoes in. You got some red potatoes here. And then that's, that's what they used to make. That's what they used to make, make Portia Williams, but thickening agent. <laughs> it works because well, she's fine. thicker than a snicker, honey. But well, that thing, that thing thicker than cold. You grits, know she's sure. Absolutely. So you put your potatoes in, and then Ricky, uh -huh. you put your butter beans, and you literally right. pour the butter beans in two hours into your baking. Put it back in the oven for another two the, hours. You do the big country ass butter beans like what we, we grew up with on a small one. The big country ass butter beans. Yeah. Because they break down. Butter beans, um, so for y'all that don't know, butter beans are a lot like uh, ground turkey or ground um, chicken. It takes whatever right. flavor you give it, right? So whatever right. you put in there, it's going to pick that flavor up and become that. Butter uh -huh. beans is a sponge for flavor. So it's the best personally. It's cheap. And it's delicious and it soaks up all the flavor. So I take that pot and literally pop her in the oven, Rick. Right. Now I'm about to now look, Eva. Yep. Eva, I got the I got the brown sugar. I got the brown sugar. Brown <laughs> sugar. Uh, you see, you see my oxtail? Yes. Right? I got the yes. brown sugar. Bam! Right? Yeah, On I the oxtail. On the oxtail, bro. Got the rub those things. It wasn't getting up faster with it. I know. Teach me. A little brown, a little brown, brown sugar in there, right? You look like you yeah. know what you're doing, Ricky Smiley. Let me tell you something. Hey, this, 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 uh, uh, my good friend from the ATL, Chef Q, inspired this oxtail recipe. Cause I'm not going to even flex. I make good oxtail, but I like hers better. So you know what I'm saying? So uh, if, if, I'm, if we're going to give something to all everybody that's watching the cooking show, we want to give them the best recipe. Absolutely. Mine is just for something good, but this, these some fancy, these some little, 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 little fancy, fancy oxtails right here. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put my little cooking oil, vegetable okay. oil in my pot. Right here, you see my pot? I see your pot. Put, that, okay. put the vegetable oil in there, because I'm about to sear them. Ricky, why you got them gloves on? Right, because I just got finished. You know okay, what I'm saying? Got it. Got it. I, I don't I don't want to get the ox, ox tails the coronavirus. Got it. No <laughs> rona on the ox. Got it. No rona on the ox. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We don't we don't we don't want to have the uh the, the, the ox tail. All right, so yeah, Rona don't want no beef. Uh, I got oh it. yeah. So Eva. Yeah. Eva, this is browning right here. Do you have okay, I know you, you got browning. Yes. Right? Yes. So so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get my browning and I'm gonna put it in here. That's right. Right, put, yeah. My, yeah, so I'm put, put my brownie in a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. I can't, is that, did I say that right? Worcestershire. Yes, that's it. That's it. I'm going to drop it in there. I know, but <laughs> And then you got to mix it up. I can't even say Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce. So say what I'm about, so what I'm about to do now, I'm about to sear them. Okay. I'm going to take my gloves. I'm about to take my gloves off, right? And we about to go live. Here we go. All right. Going to the pot. These some Atlanta fancy oxtails. Okay, okay come these, on, these. fancy me. Tickle yeah, this, 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 this. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> you hear that? I, I hear it. Woo! 
And you know what? It's a lot of oxygen in the grocery stores because white people don't know what they are. Wrong. I came. White people went and bought up all the meat and they left the oxygen. They don't know what, what the hell they're missing. So it's, it's nothing but if you go down to Kroger or you go to Winn-Dixie, they don't have they don't have shit but oxtails in there. They don't have no shit. Oxtails everywhere. Oxtails and, and chicken feet. That's it. Oh, that looks good, man. <laughs> Hey, Eva, let me tell you something. I already got your house smelling good. Mm. Man, what? Who that look good? Eva. I see you. you I, I see you. Yeah. Oh, that look Bruh. good. Oh, so, so you want to see those things. Okay. Right? Go ahead. I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm learning. Yeah. Okay. Well, come, so what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna see them. I'm gonna turn them over. Okay. Because you want to get these babies going. Like right. You will have your whole house. Yes. Yes. You said it. That said it again, Eva. You are braising the oxtail so that you can make sure that they're all. Oh, that's gonna said be good. It. You know okay. what? We ought to teach Gary Gary with the tea how to cook because Gary, he don't know how to he don't know how to cook at all. We gotta start now, by it'd be funny to have him on it because he'd be cooking garbage. No, he doesn't even cook, Ricky. He goes what? Up. you gotta drop stuff off to Gary. <laughs> right. Right, Gary got he don't want Uber eat out. Out. Oh, that was good. Yes. And see the you know the brown sugar. Yeah, sauce, the brownie, all of those. Uh, oh my god! Oh man! Hey, so black folks, y'all on look, the stove? Yeah. Well, we'll see what, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take them out. I'm gonna take okay. them out, and I'm gonna put them in the bowl. So we're gonna we're gonna speed up because you know it takes oxtail a long time to cook. So I'm gonna go ahead, yeah. and we're just gonna pretend. That they already seared. So okay. well, here we go. So we're gonna take them on out. Look at that. Okay. You see it? Oh yes. Don't tell. Do not tell white people about the oxtail. <laughs> Let the white people leave them in there. Don't tell me. Cause see, <laughs> you have to sell. You have to sell a couple of extra bags of weed to afford oxtail because they're not cheap at all. No, so they're not. Just, they are not. <laughs> the little Zuma ones at Kroger are not cheap, but they are good. And depending the on what? what the little Zuma ones they call for the brand is called Zuma. But if you live in a town where they don't right. sell oxtails at your regular grocery store, you can usually find them at an Asian or a, a world market. But the Asian market right. so always has the best oxtails. So here go a little bit of beef broth, Ooh. right? Mm -hmm. Look. All right. Okay. Woo. Carrots. Boom. Onions. Bam. Garlic. Nice. Bam. A little bit of habanero pepper. Do not touch your eyes with it. These are the coronavirus of peppers. <laughs> <laughs> tomatoes. You got the your tomatoes. Oh, you, you put, put tomatoes, tomatoes in yours? In Man, what? Ooh. So I'm going to take that and, and we're going to get that. Look at that, Eva. That looks good, Rick. Let me tell you something, bro. I'm gonna put a little bit in here because you want your um uh, and you want to you know you want to rock with it like this until your onions get really um you know cook really good soft and then I don't chef turn. so you cover it just enough right. of beef broth over the vegetables oh. right so those those are green onions so here go the white onions in your time look at this Eva. oh that's sexy ricky yeah don't use marijuana just make sure you Okay, I'm gonna make I don't sure know how y'all are. 
I know how you are. I know how you are. Don't use, make sure you it's use the hands. Not, don't put that. <laughs> don't put that other stuff in that. Even you're gonna, you're gonna go to sleep. It's the melatonin. Everybody, so wait, the, the camera crew, everybody here cracking up. They can't even. They, look, y'all might as well laugh. Y'all can't hold it in. So if y'all want to laugh, laugh. Hell. Fox, it's Fox Soul. Hell, man, I don't care. They got to be perfect. Hell, come on. Here, all right, here, here your onions, Eva. Okay, that look good. Look at them. Yes. Man, that time just kind of really gave it a little. It's a little nice sexy look. going on over there, Ricky Smiley. I'm gonna say. This smell like some damn. I, this this is why I wanted to do Chef Q's. Uh, recipe because I just think her oxtail was so much better than mine. Mine is just old school, kind of like my grandmama, but you know, cooking has evolved. Like, and it's just so many different ways. And let me tell you something, man. Listen, man, folks in Atlanta can cook. There's some chefs in Atlanta, I tell you, man, they take cooking to a whole nother level. Like, I, I put that on everything. You're right. Uh, so you take your parents' recipes or your grandma's recipes, and then you build right. them. Exactly. So look at that, Eva. Oh, it's already cooking down. I look good, Rick. Yeah. So how long do so you let you... those vegetables stew in there? Just until your onions get soft. And how high right. is your medium? Yeah, you can put it on, uh, I got it on hell right now. Okay. You can put it on, put it, put it on purgatory. <laughs> it ain't hell, it ain't heaven. You know, that's when you send them. Somewhere in the middle. <laughs> yeah, you're in a waiting room, you're in a, you're in a waiting room, and they're trying to decide whether you're going to go to heaven or not, and you're in there fanning. Yeah, yeah, I'm in God's waiting room. Okay, we fan. Right. <laughs> she said God's waiting room. I'm going to say God's waiting room with Bernie Sanders. Right. So look, Eva, you see that right there? Uh-huh. You see that right there? That looks good. And now, I'm about to put the oxtails in there. All right. Oh, you drop them back in. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So what I'm going to do, I'm going I'm to do like Bernie Mac. You know what I'm about to do? Sure. Stir it like coffee. Stir it like <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm putting a little bit more broth in here. Okay. And can I be honest about something? Can I be honest about something? Be honest. I'm gonna put the rest of the broth in here. Can I be honest about something? Please. So last week, I <laughs> <laughs> last week on the cooking show, I had your girl Cynthia Bailey, right? Oh, that's my girl. Right. So we made some. Greens and I made some cornbread, right? So I put the cornbread in the oven and I cleaned up the kitchen, but I hadn't used the oven. Uh -huh. So I used the oven to put my uh, the oxtails in, and uh, look what I found in the oven. This was last week. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie; it ain't no sense in lying. Why lie? Why lie? You're but smart. it's been in the oven. It's been in the oven all week. I turned the oven off, but. I, I looked in the oven to put the finished product in the oven like duple, and I found this. So I didn't have to make cornbread, but no, it's still beautiful. We ready. Cornbread <laughs> is good past the week. You are good. Put some butter and right. some honey on top of that thing, and you are fine. And microwave it with a little bit of water. Look, this, this is a little look, bit, Eva. not much. All right, Eva, look. Oh, look at good. this. Look at this. Oh, my God. Oh, so my Eva, God. Yes. Oh my God. Oh my God. So, so you take <laughs> so you take that right there. All right. Oh, somebody um uh somebody uh said uh who sent this email? Uh tell her to slow down. We have to say your ingredients and cook at the same time. Jump in. She has to slow down. Tell Ricky to say his ingredients. Hell I already said the ingredients. Who is that from? Little Dow? Slow down. How do you say Harlan? I said all the ingredients. I, I said the onions, the, the carrots, the the thyme. The, I said all the, I, I said every last one. What? The, 
<laughs> so look, so Eva, yes. look at that. You see that? You see that? So, Ooh, that good. so Rick, what do you pair your uh, oxtails with? Um, I'm gonna show you. I put them on top of rice. Yeah, and just keep it simple. Mm -hmm. So you make you cook a pot, of, make a pot of rice, mm -hmm. and you can take all your oxtails that you feed your family. Just put them on the top. Take some tongs. Take these right here. Put mm -hmm. your oxtails on top or whatever. Decorate it. Make it look really, really pretty and serve. So I'm about to show you uh, the finished the finished. Let product. me see the product. So, so but you take these oxtails and you cook it in the crock pot for about three hours though. Okay. Or you can like cook what it, kind uh, I would say Did I just miss everything pause? Thank you. Okay, I'm like, is it me? Five hours on me. Uh, he has a smell that will have your house smelling like something that you ain't never smelled before. This Ooh. is a whole different uh, oxtail recipe. This is not my oxtail recipe. This is Chef Q from the ATL, man. Represent. I think I think she's on a gang or something. I don't know. I think she was a <laughs> disciple queen. <laughs> you gotta get my story. You better watch out. Right, or something. Somebody cooking like that. So yeah, Ooh, that looks so low. good. And uh, so now I'm about to show you the uh the, the finished product. All right, you ready? Uh, yes. Let me get some, get some of my some of my dishes out the way because you know I like to clean as I go. All right, Eva, here we go. Here we go again. Here we go. Hey, here hey. we go. No. Two nights the night we will share. Turn off the lights, come close to me. Stop, Ricky, Tell stop. me I'm all you ever you need. Oh. need no. <laughs> Loving you all through the night. No. <laughs> that was our moment on the morning. Eva! <laughs> Let me see these oxtails, Ricky. What you, you got? What you got? Holla at your boy. Let me, let me bring him around. Eva, Reach around. Listen. Teach me. Listen. Ooh. Ooh. Woo. All right. Well, I'm going to match you. Can I match you? Can I get Come on. those out? You got it. Oh, that look good. Are we on? Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm about to match you. Going in. Come on. All right. Come on, Eva. Come on with it. Come on, we're going to try. Don't play with me. We're going to try. Like they, like they say on all the fight videos on World Star, stop playing with me. <laughs> That's how you know it's going to be a good fight if they start with don't play with me. Stop playing with me. <laughs> All right. Come on. So you got a real, real good view on yours. But here we go. You see butter beans. We got potatoes. Ooh. Oxtails. We broke it all the way down. You see all the vegetables and the vegetables still have their color. Now the vegetables still have their color. That means the vegetables are still filled with nutrients. Once they all right. turn, in, they're gone. So we are cooked all the way down. This oxtail is literally breakable. I could just pull my little mm. thing. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. Me, mm. me coming up. Okay, I'm, I'm about. And I'd like to get like you, Rick. So I have my rice. I'm about to do in here. Okay. Like real talk. Let me see. Let me see. I'm coming around. Look at this, Eva. You got is that uh, cameraman? Talk to me. Where am I? I'm good. Right here. Come on up. Come closer. <laughs> Give me some. Give me some. Give me some. Eva. Eva. Oh, that look good. 
Ooh, you know that look good, Ricky. Um, yes, sir. Give me some. Let me give me a plate. Ew. Give me a little plate. Mm. Oh my God. Oh, that would look good. Send me some of yours. I will send you some of mine. I'm going to send Gert over there. Gert on the way. All right. You got some rice. Mm. Go ahead and pull one of them good old oxtails on up out of there. Mm. You don't even need one bread with this. You just don't have to have it. But you got some from last week, so we good. <laughs> Eva, look. Oh, man, I can taste. What you mean, look? I can taste it. Oh, looks so good. Okay, let me get mine. Let me get mine. Let me get my plate together. So I got my oxtails. I to take some green beans, Ricky. Because you know I'm raising some beautiful black babies, so I got to keep them strong. So I also made some green beans. Oh, pull them out. Bring them out, bring them out. I'm sitting up here on this cooking show eating all eating the whole plate of oxtail. I'm not even in the plate. I don't care about commercial. I don't care. You're supposed to taste it like like they do on the view and the other shows, but I'm hungry. I'm not gonna sit up here and play. Right. I'm so not gonna sit up here and flex food. like I'm tasting the food. Oh, it's wonderful. No, I'm gonna eat. Go ahead, Eva. What are you saying? <laughs> Mike is over here trying to get in the food. Move, Mike. My husband is trying to eat dinner already. So we have Mike, one more boy. One more boy. One more boy. Send my boy that way. Mike. Mike is trying to get food. He's looking over. Mike. <laughs> It's you, are you, are you, are you, are you, you are he's a hang capper. He's a hang capper. He's a hang The wrong 1911. The wrong 1911. Hey, hey, Rick, they think it's the way she looked, but it's really the way she cooked. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I love you, man. So, I love you too, Rick. So this is how I keep a happy home. Balanced meal. We have our vegetables. Some good old green beans. I made them with some bacon and some um, uh, cracked pepper. And then my oxtails. We're going to go ahead. I'm going to get like you, Rick, and eat right now. Mm, mm, mm. You know when it's good and you need to sit down? It's that kind of good. Mm, mm, mm. Damn, these oxtails are good, Dre. I, I think Eva doing it. Eva, I see. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank my beautiful, awesome guests, it's like my little sister right here, even myself, for joining us. And hey, thank you so much. Uh, for Thanks for having me, Rick. In. I love you. Keep doing what you do. You are a pillar of our community, and you got hella fried recipes. I will continue hey, to Hey, Eva. Yes. Black lives, Black lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Period. Right here. See y'all next week, y'all. Hey, thank y'all for watching Ricky Smiley Quarantine Cook-Off, man. Hey, I am so, so, so excited, man. Y'all make sure y'all join us every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Hey, come here real quick. Give me your recipe. I mean, hey, Chef Q, real quick, real quick. Let everybody know how they can follow this oxtail recipe on Instagram. Okay, y'all, you can follow Lil Chef's Vittles. That's L-I-L-C-H-E-F-S-B-I-T-T-L-E-S. -T -T -E the best oxtails ever. I there it is, thank y'all. <laughs> Even though she's stealing your recipe. Thank y'all. <laughs>